So we're relaxed about it. We're going to risk money that we're, we're comfortable risking. So now it comes down to risk-reward and things like that. So risk-reward is really about how much money we risk on certain trades. Generally speaking, you know, the amount of money at risk really should be less than the amount of money that's uh, potentially in profit, isn't it? So in other words, if we're going to risk 100 quid on the trade, we really should be looking to make 100 quid or more on that trade. This is called a minimum of one-to-one. One. one to one means we're, the amount we're looking to gain is about the same as the amount we're looking to risk. A two to one would be the amount to gain is twice that at risk. So in other words, if we risk 50 quid, we've got a two to one trade, we can win 100 quid on that trade, okay, based on the stops and targets that we're going to be employing. And it's very important. Why? Because if you're looking to risk 90 quid to make 10, you've got to have a significant success rate in order to make money. A lot of people trade like that. It's a very bad, very dangerous way to trade. But it's about making sure you're risk sizing right. So most people are looking at one to one trades anyway. Most people are very familiar with that, looking for at least that, sometimes two to one, one and a half to one, something like that. But it's a very important thing to do. But it's also important to stake size correctly as well. You know, one of the things that we find is that you know, a lot of people are staking incorrectly. Staking in ways which don't allow you to trade in a relaxed way or statistically imbalanced so that we could have a perfectly profitable strategy and still lose money. Now, how ludicrous is that? If you've got a, p a profitable strategy, for goodness sake, give yourself the opportunity to make money out of. Give yourself the likelihood of making money out of it. So it's not just about a tr uh, trend signal strategies. It's about the way you're executing it as well that's important. Now, these are simple rules, but simple rules that we must know about. So it's all about how we stake. And what we're going to do over the next session is have a look at the ability to trade pounds per point, a static pounds a point. Maybe we risk a percentage of our capital. Most people are trading along those basis. And I do something else. It's kind of similar to percentage of capital, but it's based on an amount of money at risk on each trade. So let's just go through that now.